Greetings and welcome back to Autonauts. I'm Degray and let's just continue where we left off. Uh, we just got done building our poles, if I'm not uh, remembering wrong, or if I'm right. So uh, let's see what we need to continue our lumbering. Uh, we almost have the lock stored, plank chopped and pole stored, so we should be uh, working towards it. And let's start the next automation part of this. Um, one of the first things we want to get is uh, a robot that charges other robots. So you don't just have to charge one of them. So let's just craft two robots. I think that will be a good solution. Let's get some planks. Left click, right click. And let's see if we can't do this. You can never have too many robots. I'm quite sure about that. And then one log. But it seems they are missing quite a lot of things to be able to work. So let's see here. That goes that one in. Let's just craft a few axes. Might do a box where they can take um, axes from in case they run out. The same with the with these. So, uh, so yeah, I think that will be good. First, let's just craft some axes. Crude axe. And there you are. You want the shovel? You can have it right like there. And then we want this one to charge him up. I think this will be cool as a charge bot. But we kind of need one to run out of power then. Or else we'll just have a second one being made here. That we can use for the charging purposes. Want that one. Let's see if we can get a second one crafted. And take this one so we can start to automate the entire process of this. Since we're almost done with the lumbering. So this will be... Oh, it's just taking it. That's perfect. So let's see here. Let's craft one more. We have enough plants. I just need a tree seed. There we are. Two. Three planks. And a pole. Grab the pole, please. And let's see if we can make a charge button. Oh, placed the wrong place. There we go. So, this one. I'd like to open your brain. Please. And record. I want you to go to a bot. Can do like. No need to wait. Just retouch the bot. And can we sit in an area? Where does that? Um, do any of you know? Want to loop that forever? But we also want an area one on. Um, how do we add that to it? One of you probably know, but for some reason I can't see it right now. Forever, undo, clear. Oh, I might not be able to do it yet. So let's just leave it like this for now, and then uh, we'll see when we can start to to charge things. Is that is that why? Let's go into a tech tree and look. Was it in here we can see it? Dump it. Robotics. Our bot teammate. That might also be good. So teammate free bots. Let's just make a forestry team. Create new team. Let's call it Lumber Area. 
make it a nice green color. Start all, stop all. So you want this one in it, you want that one in it. Not these ones, and those are doing nothing, but those three at least. So that should be what we needed for uh, for that one, unless we need to make three teams, and not just one with three bots in it. Yeah, make three teams. Then we will have, let's see here, I wonder, crafting team. And there we can put in the other ones. That one's the one that's going crazy. There we go. Ah, that was easy enough. Basic bot team. So that's one more done. Gives us crude gears. Whatever that is used for. And a commemorative slab. Oh, close you, you're going mental. So now we can make crude gears here. Is there somewhere we can see what they do? Let's see if we go in here and look at... I thought it was going to be in here somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Um, it's nowhere to be found, apparently. So maybe it does nothing. Yeah, let's just see if we can craft one and see if it does anything cool. Oh, well, we'll probably find it at some other point. And this one is almost done as well. Just need to recharge you. And just recharge the wrist until I can get a charge bot to do it. So let's see here, we have some poles, we have some bots, and what we want to collapse, collapse, do next is get probably some of our tools automated, or get some automated crafting. So let's see here, to get the tools, we'll probably need some storage boxes. Let's just craft a few over here to put in Oh, over here, we put some tools in. And then they can go and get those if they run out. Let's do one, two, three. Just like that. Oh, to be honest, I think we can move these after uh, they're made. So what if we do this instead? Can we place them over here? Then they don't have that part to run to, uh, to collect the items we need. And then remove these. these and let's craft a few of these nice and quick until we get a robot to do this for us that took a bit of woods that's fine And then I'll use these to store an axe and, sh and a shovel and then something else. But axe and shovel is definitely the two things we should get first. And teach our robots to go get them if they run out. Then I can make a few things at the same time. Oh, and one thing, we probably need miners as well. So we can get stone, because I think that is also going to be something we need. Because we have a ton of sticks. That is not that bad. Might have to collect a few of those. Does it say when there's something wrong? Oh, it's a cracking team. It's just because you are not working. I think that's what it means. So how do we get stone? Let's just continue these and let's look in our little training book. Strip mining. 
can probably start that one. But mate, we can skip that step. That step. Crude pickaxe. Ah, we can make those. And let's go grab some stone. If we have any stone anywhere. Okay, <laughs> let's go explore and see if we can find some stone while the little camp is working. Oh, that's a big rock. Not really what we want, just want some stone. One stone right there. Should be enough to get a mining started, but let's just do a little check around this way. Doing a bit of exploration. Another one. So it seems we have to remember to get stone up and running rather quickly so we don't run out. Like I've just done. And let's check this area. There we are. So let's make some crude pickaxes. Seems we need two. So let's see here. Can drop them here, please. Now we should make two, it seems. Let's pick up one. Ready to roll. But attention, record in the ground with the, probably over here. Find some stone deposits in the ground and use a crude pickaxe to show the bot how to use them. Easy enough, follow me. Error, right, try again. Oh, it's because I put, put it down instead. You remember I have to left click. I would love if they changed it to right click instead. That's a lot more a lot more intuitive, to be honest. And then we'll repeat forever. And this is a good enough area. Then we'll just say play. Oh, until empty hands. Until empty until hands empty. Pick up the crew bench. Pick up the crew pickups from the crew working area. Now the button knows to come and get a new tool when this one breaks. Ah, this is where we learn how to automate getting a new pick. I'll try again. And then loop all of this forever. Okay. Great! That seems that's also made of stone, and if it runs out, we'll go back here and try to get a pickaxe. And if it can't, um, we'll have to craft some. So I'm guessing that's the same thing we have to do with all our foresters to get that up and running. So let's just drop our pickaxe right there. Get that one to do it. Then we would like to get some way of getting it back to the base. So if we have one that moves it back and forwards and stores it in some tri crates like this, I think that might be good. So we'll need to make one more bot that travels back and forth. Before that, let's just charge these. This one's making it. There we go. Need to give this uh, <laughs> We'll teach this one to go pick up some new ones as soon as we have a bot that crafts it. Uh, you mix a shovel. So that's definitely the first thing we should start to automate is, uh, is all of this. So let's see here. What if we make a storage row over here with all the things we need? Over on this side maybe. Oh, let's just do it right here. I think that'll be fine. So we'll make a bot that collects stone. For example, this one. 
That's a recharge part that doesn't work. So you can stop. Can press the clear button. Port. Clear. And I want you to pick up. Show you how to do it. Move to stone. Pick it up. But again, how do you choose an area? Um, that I can't really figure out. There's probably some, oh wait. Can't do any dragon, can we? Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll probably have to do this later. We might get uh, something that shows us how to automatically pick up things in an area. Didn't we do it with these? Why can't I figure it out then? Two seconds. Let's go down and check this one out. Why can this one do it, but the other one can't? Pete? Oh, maybe if I take an area then. Is it possible to do then? For some reason I might have forgotten how to do it. So let's see here. Oh, click record. Do it until. Until that one is full. Well, that makes no sense at all. Am I just being completely stupid, guys? Um, hopefully you can tell me. I'm selecting a target. Why won't it allow me to take that? Until hands are full. Oh, do I need to pick up stone before we can get it to do it, do what we want? Do it, do it, do it. Let's try this. Move to stone. I'd like for you to pick it up. Don't wait. I'll loop that forever. Until. For some reason I can't click that. Hmm. Strange. You'll just be like that for now. Until I figure out what's, what's wrong with you. Or wrong with what I'm doing. Oh, there might have to be something in it before we can do it. Can we do it now, then? Let's see. Until... Oh, the stone charge is full. But then again, we don't have an area for it to go to. The storm source is full. Let's just try that and get it to uh, do something. Rather embarrassing, guys. For some reason, I can't figure this out. Even though I made a bot last time that uh, that showed it to us. So if we look at. Lumbering area. No, it's pretty much. It's not you. Because that is fine. I just want an area one on him. Oh, basic woodworking got done. A wood yarn. So what does this give us? 
Oh, we can do that. And three hats. So that's more things to take on. But what I want to know is how you are doing that. How to find nearest logs in that area? Um, well, guys, I'll be right back and I'll just figure it out. Two seconds. And we are back, guys. So, it was an extremely stupid thing and I don't know why it's, uh, it's like that, but uh, I'll show you right now. Um, I was doing the right thing, almost, but it's very, very precise in the way you do it. So if you look here, clear it all. If we do left click, it will work if you do it like that. But if you have it on the ground and you by accident, see this, trash it all, right click first. So it's move to stone and then click it. Then you won't get the search area, which is, uh, is quite annoying. But it might be, in terms of programming, co completely correct. But this miss, did mess me up quite a bit. So all we have to do, just put this one on the ground, is do our left click. Get stone in this area, please. Oh, we can always just max it out a bit. Might be a bit overkill. We'll take that. Pick up stone until hands are full and then it will drop it off in that storage down here undo a loop forever or until until that one until stone storage is full so right now it will find the nearest stone in that area Move to stone, pick it up, do that until the hands is full. After that, it will move to here and add the stone to the storage. I wonder if this will work or we need to do until hands are empty and then repeat. I think that's what we want to do. Until hands empty instead. Add. Let's try because we didn't need to put this one and one around to dust this as a storage until empty. Can I take... Oh! Undo. Because <laughs> what I want to do is move uh, this one out, this one below. So we'll do this one, pick up until hands are full, then go down here until hands are empty. Once the hands end, we'll do this and add to storage. Or pretty much we can probably do this. Then you'll move down here. Once the hands are empty, and then you'll do that forever. I'm guessing this will work. So let's just watch it work and see if, uh, if this is correct the way I programmed this. Picking up stone. That's good. Let's see if we can get four or three. Now it's moving to the storage and then it should repeat until the hands are empty and then start over from up top. Yep. So that seems to work exactly as I wanted to. Ooh, drop you off here and add you, or charge you up here again so you can work. So there we are. That was uh, a small mistake on my part for uh, for how you activate the area. It was a bit cryptic, but it should work now. So, time to automate these so they can get all the tools they to need. So, we'll probably need a few more of these, or just get one that picks up sticks for now uh, from the ground here. Or if there's some other way to get sticks, we can always just beat the bush. But digging and beating. So, uh, 
Should we just do one more craft here? Crafts and bots. Grab a pole. And one seed. There we are. And these will need some shovels and we... Can we dig up tree trumps as, as well? It should be able to and hopefully it is doing it. I think it is. It just needs a shovel. But firstly a bot that collects up sticks might be good. So let's make a stick bot. Here we go. I would like for you to go over here and pick up a stick. Oh, we have to record first. Pick up stick. No, not move stick, I have to pick up stick. And find sticks in the max area. So just find sticks. Let's just get them all from right here for now. We can always move it a bit. And I want to do that forever or until your hands are full. Do that. Then I want you to move over here. Add stick storage and do a small loop around until hams are empty. Add the stick storage. And it's empty and then do that forever. And be on your merry way. Then you should go and collect sticks for us. I think that is correct. Here it goes. And the rest just kind of needs tools. Oh, we already filled this one up. I don't want a crude pickaxe. Oh, we could make a crude pickaxe for now. But what I really want to make is some shovels. Let's see here, crude spade. And I could tell them all to just go here and grab items until... Until they have what they need. But I rather want a storage area for them to do that in. So... Uh, yeah, let's craft a few more storage boxes. Let's see if this will be enough. And then I can just take planks and poles from right here. Or oh, we should probably get a bot to do this for us. I'm guessing it's possible to the, for them to do it. But comparing to the first episode, we are automating quite a few things already. Four. Four. And then as soon as we get shovels and uh, crude axes, then we should be able to automate pretty much all of our forestry things. Let's see here. There we go. And then we'll move these three probably down here, making a crafting area. Or just over here. I think that is what we should do. So delete this one, this one. That's pretty much just moves it into an inventory where we can place them down wherever we want. So that is actually quite nice. So one Two, three, and let's make these three different kind of uh, items. So to do that, let's craft some crafting benches as well. We'll probably need three. So we say, what's a good way to fit, fit them in? So they can all be there. 
What if I do it like... Making crafting errors like that. One, two, three. Oh, what do I need? Logs and sticks. So that is actually not a bad place to craft them. I want to probably just give this one a shovel for now. So we can start to get some trees again. Because we can't run out of wood. That would be very, very bad. And let's see if we can't just set this up as one of the last things this episode. Getting uh, all this made. This way. And then we just need a few sticks. And we have a few, but definitely not enough. And then we'll just have to figure out how to get more sticks. Uh, I think I've heard that if you beat a tree, you might be able to get some sticks. But uh, I'm not quite sure if that is the case. Two. One. So let's start with these two. I think this will be fine for now. And then we'll just figure out how to get uh, more trees. Let's see here, this one you can make stone axes, and this one can make crude shovels. And then we just need bots that will tra uh, transport items to them. We definitely need charge bots. I guess, wonder if that is the same thing that stops us last time from uh, getting this to work, that we didn't right and left click correctly. Controls can be quite uh, interesting at times, so you have to watch out for that. Oh, so let's see. Here. Take three of these. I would actually love if, uh, if movement was always left click and all the commands was always right click because I want to right click this one right now that is the most intuitive thing for me so uh, yeah there's a bot oh and we got strip stone mining what do we get something to wear not really important at the moment so let's just continue here let's see Oh, now I need a bot to charge. I just activated them all. That was not optimal. So let's just craft one more. That should give us one for this one to charge. Little pole. And a tree seed. And let's try this again with the, the bot charging. I want you to, I think it's right click to charge. It's not right click to charge. So if I move that and then do left click to charge, then it should work. Yes, and we get an area. Perfect. So that was what we did wrong before. Just max this area. So it's always be uh, the charge bot we have to do forever in that area. So in theory, we make two bots right now that does the same. This should work forever. Because two charge bots will probably not run out at the same time. So that should be... Look at this. It should charge this one now. Perfect. Let's add him to the lumber area team. Is this guy. Not that guy. This one. You can go into the lumber area team. Can we rename you to... Charger and the rest are pretty self explanatory, so we'll just name those later. So here we are, so probably do the same up here. 
Oh, this one has more than enough stone. This one is needing sticks. So, uh, yeah. I think that will be some of the things to look at next episode. How to get sticks. I'm guessing it's from beating trees or something like that. And then how to get the, the crude axe and the crude spade made. Pretty much automating these two. So they can always just go and grab items from our storage chests. So, uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And uh, as always, I've been D Grey and I'll see you next episode. Bye guys.